Hi guys, my name is Maximus and today I'm going to show you how to bind your air boom to your character. Uh, I've, I've seen that uh, a lot of people get got like a lot of a lot of trouble how to do it. So I will show you a way that is, did work for me uh, using the blueprint blueprint. Uh, using the blueprint and uh, you don't need to do codings you don't need all of that no coding just a simple way to save your character once and for all don't no need to redo it again over and over again no. just just do once and it works so uh, no further talking and let's jump into it so first you need your character and uh, an animation for your character so this is our character sorry for the time uh, the delay I mean this is a character um, and there it is so you need to put in in your scene then you need to create a sequence so add a lever sequence save it so. let's save as it is because that part is not uh, really important ok there is our se sequence and after that we go, we go back to our character and with our character selected like this, we create a blueprint. Just leave it as it is, select, and done. Okay, there is our blueprint. So now, what we need to do is first, I forgot one thing, one important thing. Let's leave our blueprint and let's go back to our character so we you need to go with your character the folder for character like this uh, search and this is our character first get in the character we get in the character and uh, on the the skeleton tree under the skeleton tree we need to look for the head there is the head and create a socket. There is our head socket. Okay. After created our head socket, you need to save it and save it we can go back to our blueprint and add our component the cool component there it is so with our groom component selected we need to go to parent socket and search for our socket we created earlier this is it, head socket. Select it, okay. And now we can add our groom asset. There is our groom asset. The socket uh, for the groom. So we select our groom. And there is uh, our groom. So we need to To fix it uh, because it's not uh, fitting well so let's fit our chrome asset
okay let's try to do our best to fit this in let's try Hold it. let's see if this will work it seems to be working Okay, perfect. Um, let's uh, try like this. So after you you fit your air, so you compile and save it. If you need to to change the air color, this is the slot. So you just need to go to the slot like this and select your air. So I have the. Uh, uh, a lot of air examples, so let's uh, just take this one. Okay, there it is. So save it and close it. So you can see in the scene everything is already set up. So now the more important thing is to try if with an animation it will go well. So let's go to our sequencer, select our character, and put our character in the sequencer. That is, and the more important part is to add the animation and see if it works. So as you can see, the hair just fit well. No, no further issue. So. Everything is, work is working. So let's try now to play the animation. Okay. It looks like the animation working well and the air is following without any problem. This is how you can add your air chrome without any kind of issue. This method is for people who are doing animation or sequence using the sequencer. So I don't know if it's going to work for people who are doing coding parts like for games. Maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure because me I'm just uh, doing the, the the, the movie parts if I can say that okay then this is all I was going to show you and uh, if you have any other question just feel free, feel free to ask me and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, thank you for watching